the chairman of the financial services committee in the united states queried the sec boss chair gary gensler again on whether bitcoin is a security or not Met your down. view on bitcoin you've you've made comments on this you believe bitcoin is is not a security is that true before we continue with his response he was asked a very important question regarding whether the sec has any intentions approving all of these pending bitcoin etfs if you want to get the full gist make sure you keep watching well i think the staff of the sec have also uh, and the prior well, chair. i'm just asking you this question and this is not a gotcha i thought there's going to be an easy softball into harder questions do you think bitcoin is a security no, i think i've said this in the past that i think that it i'm asking you to how answer my question now this is not supposed to be hard i know i said just it does not meet the howey test which is the Okay. The law of the land about being so an investment it doesn't meet the Howey test. Security. So therefore, it's a commodity. Is that fair? I I I would say it's not a security, and then the test is otherwise for other okay. uh, laws. In the same proceedings, another U.S. congressman slammed him for attacking crypto. Do you believe the vast majority of digital assets meet the investment contract test and are therefore securities operating illegally outside of the U.S. regulatory umbrella? As I've said, many of these assets are basically the public is anticipating Sir, profits is that a yes? based on the efforts of others. Is the answer then yes? Again, without prejudging anyone, I do think that the significant Reclaiming majority my time. are I'll take it as a yes. Contracts. And to be clear, sir, this perspective has nothing to do with a concern you noted in a speech last year where you said, quote, over the past year, several bank executives have shared their concerns with me about the sheer number of depositors who have moved money from their bank accounts into crypto-related exchanges and wallets, end quote. Right? The concern that those bank executives raised was that there's... Again, I, I reclaim my time, sir. were getting no, hurt. I've asked you to answer the questions as short as I can so I can use the time I have, and it's clear that you would like to avoid answering the questions, in my opinion. An Obama-appointed judge in the Southern District of New York, a bank-friendly jurisdiction where you bring most of your cases, recently found that decentralized financial technology, quote, not only removes the so-called middlemen from these transactions, but it also allows users to interact through a variety of methods in an easy and efficient manner, end quote. The court also said underwriters, like the ones at banks where you work, sir, are, quote, precisely, precisely the types of individual roles that decentralized exchanges were designed to eliminate, end quote. Mr. Gensler, can you assure this committee that your style of regulation by harassment towards digital asset innovation is to the benefit of every American and not driven by your desires to protect industry incumbents? This is a field that's rife with fraud and manipulation, and I'm, I'm looking out for the American investors who've been hurt by the crypto. Yeah. I'll, I'll reclaim my time. Scammers. Mr. Gensler, despite your years of rhetoric, like today, I'm convinced you are not an impartial regulator. Instead, it's clear that you are working to consolidate your own power, even though it means crushing opportunities for everyday Americans and, frankly, the financial future of this country. Even the federal courts are highlighting the damage you, sir, are doing to our constituents, and they're telling you that you don't have the legal authority to accomplish your goal of squashing competition in the financial markets. Congress has been telling you that, too. Now, Mr. Gensler, I believe our great financial system is the definition of freedom in this country, and congressional policies must provide room for the traditional financial system to evolve alongside the disruptive digital asset ecosystem. That said, it cannot be understated that a common theme throughout your career, sir, is your relentless loyalty to the largest financial institutions at the clear expense of innovation, competition, and everyday Americans. I yield back. I suspect some large financial institutions There's will really not agree back. with that. There's no question, uh, sir. I've yielded. Well, a lot of interesting questions. What about Bitcoin ETFs? Is the SEC going to approve all of these Bitcoin ETFs? Here was what he had to say. Urging you to approve the listing of spot Bitcoin ETPs after your recent loss in court uh, to Grayscale. Now that the SEC has the court's decision in hand, uh, rejecting your rationale for denial, does the SEC plan to approve the current pending spot Bitcoin ETF applications? Uh, thank you for your letter. I did read it last night. Um, uh, again, we're still taking this under advisement. It's a recent court action and staff and commissioners will take it up uh, as appropriate. 
The, the court concluded that the SEC's denial of Grayscale lacked, quote, a coherent explanation and then, quote unquote, falls short of the standard for reasoned decision making and then was, quote unquote, arbitrary and capricious. How do you explain the SEC's actions there? Um, we uh, do that which we do under the law as best we can. Uh, sometimes things go into court. We're still considering that court uh, decision. I think it was a district court. Uh, I'm sorry, it was appellate court. It was appellate court, but we're still considering that appellate court uh, decision. Uh, and um, I don't want to get ahead of the staff or my fellow commissioners. Those were the words of Chair Gary Gensler on all of these issues. Tell me what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. That's it for this video. This is Briggs of Bees. As a guy, Ken, signing off.